Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. J is a positive integer. Well, that's pretty vague. So we want to know what's greater, the remainder when J is divided by 4 or the remainder when J plus 16 is divided by 4. Well, let's start with a positive integer, any positive integer really. How about 4? Why not, right? So what is the remainder when 4 is divided by 4? How much is left over? Now, a lot of people are a little rusty on remainders, and that's understandable. You probably haven't done them since second grade, right? So a lot of people say, okay, well, 4 divided by 4 is 1, so 1. No. The remainder is how much is left over after the division. So if I divide 4 by 4, there's nothing left over. 4 goes perfectly into 4. So the answer to this is 0. Okay, and so then what's the remainder when j plus 16, so that's 4 plus 16, or 20 is divided by 4? Well, 20 divided by 4 is 5, but the remainder, what's left over after that division, is again 0, right? Pretend you have 20 cards and 4 people. Everybody gets the same amount of cards, and there's none left over. It's 0. So I have one case, just one, where these two quantities are equal. I'm not sure yet if I can find a different case. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But at the very least, I can get rid of A and B, right? Because I know that A is not always greater and B is not always greater. So it's either C or cannot be determined. Now let's try to, to break this problem. Well, what happens if we do a completely different positive integer, like say 5, right? 5 divided by 4. What is the remainder when we do that? How many times does 4 go completely into 5? One time. And how much is left over? One right? When you divide 5 by 4, there's one card left over. You have five cards and four people and you deal everybody out equally, there's one card left over. So when j is 5, that answer is 1. Okay. So we'll just keep going with this. j plus 16, 5 plus 16 is 21 divided by 4. What happens when we do that? Well, how many times does 4 go completely into 21? It goes in 5 times, right? So 21 cards. I like this analogy. You deal out everybody evenly. Everybody gets 5 cards and there's one left over. So once again, these are equal. Now, I'm not 100% sure that there isn't some uh, that there isn't some other case that will disprove this. But what you might notice if you try this with a few more numbers is that we're adding a multiple of 4. Right? So again, going back to my example, if there are four people and I keep adding four cards or eight cards or 12 cards or 16 cards, everybody is going to get an equal amount and you're going to have the same amount left over. Correct answer for this is C. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.